first things first, I like to Google podcast cover art, just so you guys can see what you're going to find. First things that people advertise are going to be these design services from freelancers. Sites like Upwork and Fiverr are actually great when you you could find someone for cheap, like 50 bucks or even a hundred or less to go and design cover art for you top to bottom. What you're going to want when you use a site like this is to already have taken some professional photography professional photographs of yourself because they're going to want to use a picture of you for, you know, 70, 80% of podcasts are usually going to have someone's face on the podcast cover. So having artwork ready to go that they could use is helpful. And then you can go to these websites and type in uh, podcast cover art. And a lot of freelancers have put that into their bios and you'll find people that are willing to bid uh, for that job. The other thing you could do is you can go to a website that specializes in, in this, something like 99designs, they have a queue of graphic designers that all bid for projects. This is good for logo design as well. And you get to see, you, you put a preset price at the beginning and then you have a bunch of people coming in and bidding and you get to see all the projects and then pick the one that you like the look of the best. So you get to see it ahead of time, which is great with that. It's a little more expensive though, typically. The other opportunity is going to be to, uh, Go and find someone that specializes in put podcast cover art specifically, and that might take some searching to, to find something like that. But if you Google that, you might find something. But what I really like to do is a lot of you out there are do-it-yourselfers. So go to a site like Canva and they have all the design tools you need to uh, get your, not only your podcast cover art built, but also your social media graphics and things like that. So, you know, if I just type in templates, cover art, I'm going to have, you know, they have social media cover art, they have everything. But if I said podcast covers, there's going to be a bunch of templates uh, in here as well. And you could follow the templates that are here. Or what I like to do is look at the podcast players, type in into a podcast player, you know, the category that you like that you're in and see what other people's podcast covers look like. And then if you find some styles that you really like, try to mimic that style. Say, okay, this one has, uh, I like how they have the person on the right side. So I'm going to use that. I kind of like that this has a box around the font. So I'm going to use that. You know, I kind of like the graphical rectangle of this one. So I'm going to put those three things together and that'll be my cover art. And you pick your colors and you go from there. Another cool tool is coolors.co, which is going to help you find your brand colors. It's a cool tool that you can help scroll through all these different color palettes, or you could just start the generator and just keep skipping through until you see a color palette that you like. So, you know, if I don't like this one, I hit the space bar, it changes to this one, or I hit the space bar and it changes to this one, right? So just keep on playing with that until you find something you like. And then, you know, you can go back to Canva and work through and edit it all that you need with those colors, adding it to the palette that makes sense for you. So that's, that's a couple easier ways. I think when you're getting started, designing something in Canva is a great, easy way to start. Otherwise, I would offer it up to a freelancer on Upwork and get the job done quickly. Hope that was helpful and I will catch you guys next time.